Ni Hong Shi Tang. We are making cold noodle. You can go to the Asian market. Lo mian noodle, two dollars sixty seven cent a big bag. Enough to serve two to three serving at least a couple of times. And I have some leftover rotisserie chicken. I'm gonna add in some lettuce. Or you can uh, hinge chop all kind of fresh vegetable that you like. I'm gonna blanch the noodle. This is raw. We need to cook it, blanch it, and we're gonna chill it into the ice water. Blanch means like you cook in the hot water and then drain it out and put it in the icy cold water to chill it, make it cold. So the ingredient for the sauce, I have soy sauce, a little vinegar, or you can use lemon or lime. My new favorite, hot sesame oil. Fish sauce, and we want to combine a little bit sweet. I use Thai sweet chili. Just use whatever ingredient that you have combined, created your own flavor. One clove of garlic. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, now the water is almost bring out to a boil. So we gotta add some salt, pinch of salt. The salt will help to evenly increase the boiling water by 5%. The theory is this, and also it will give you the pasta a little bit of flavor. So now we can add in the pasta in, the noodle. The package say you need to cook for eight minutes, but I'm gonna cook for five or six. I like the pasta al dente, right? Here we go. Every time you add something into the pot of hot water, the temperature will decrease. That's why you don't see the boiling. Put this here. And then you're just gonna stir occasionally until the pasta cooked the way you like. A lot of the time I love the pasta broth. You know, because they had this flour, this egg flavor. And um, if you, in turn, to make noodle soup, that would be a good broth. This one here. Mm. See, I already can taste the flavor. It's like a natural pasta. Whatever Chinese noodle, stir fry pasta that you get from the Asian market, they have this unique taste. Especially those tiny, like, and you hear the Chinese wonton noodle. Oh, those are the best. See, this is good for you. Love it. I think it's done. Take one piece out. Break it. As long as it's size not dry, that's good. I'm gonna turn off the stove. As I say, I'm gonna keep some of the water water out and if you can just uh, add some scallion and sesame oil not much on this broth it's very good I'm gonna put this broth on the side you see on the side and here I just gonna tell you I'm gonna take this pasta out drain out as much hot water as you can and put it into the ice water, okay? So here we're gonna chill the pasta nice and cold for a few minutes. Meantime, we can side up that cloth of garlic. So good for you. Some people like it raw. Pickle garlic. My uncle used to use pickle garlic with some fresh chili and soy sauce. Okay, here I'm gonna rinse this real quick. Here I'm gonna use a separate bowl. I'm gonna add in some fish sauce. A 
a few splash, some Thai chili, maybe two, three tablespoons, dash of lemon, or some vinegar, apple cider vinegar, not too much, maybe half teaspoon. This one here, hot sesame oil, maybe one teaspoon. One or two, cold, cold noodle, you can put a lot more. And some soy sauce, any kind of soy sauce you have. Soy sauce, lightly, because you can always add. Okay. Now, this noodle should be nicely chilled, yep. So the idea is, we're going to take this cold noodle into our sauce. Oh. And then we add in the garlic. Okay, I'm gonna switch to a bigger bowl. This side is still hot, that's why I wanna put it right here. Like this. And now we can add in our chicken. Oh, you have anything left over that good protein, add it in. I like to incorporate with some vegetable, always. Any chance you can eat vegetable, more fruit, do it. So this is a cold noodle. If you have sesame seed, you may add some sesame seed. And now, the trick is you need to mix it up. Combine every... <laughs> I think I better use my chopstick. Can I do without chopstick, you know? Okay, we mix it up. Nice and evenly. I can smell the aromatic of this garlicky soy sauce. Even the fish sauce. Before you serve, make sure you try it. Delicious. You know what I think? We should add some pepper. When you taste the food, you know. What missing? Everybody tastes different, so. Sweet your taste. The most important is sweet your taste. If you cannot use sugar, minus the sugar. If you cannot eat salt or anything else, put very less salt or without salt. No problem. All right, let's try one more time. Mmm. Spot on. I hope you like the video. I'm Chef Tom. Thank you for watching. i see you next time. Bye. Cold noodle, perfect for summer day.